Well, this is uh, really exciting, and uh, a couple of weeks ago, we announced that we were moving forward with the small modular reactor project at Darlington. It's the first new nuclear build in Ontario or in Canada since 1993. What we see today is sort of the evolution of that announcement from a couple of weeks ago where GE Hitachi is going to be working with BWXT to provide 10 of those small modular reactors to Poland. Uh, so it's very, very exciting. BWXT is going to build, obviously, a lot of the parts over the next 10 years, and it's a billion dollar investment in the local economy here in Ontario. OPG announced that uh, we're going to build an SMR at our Darlington site in Clarington. And today, a BWXT is one of our big partners that supplies a lot of the parts and components uh, to build a reactor. So they've partnered with GEH, the technology we've chosen, to announce a much broader scale elsewhere in the world to expand the presence of, uh, of nuclear uh, elsewhere, including Poland. A place like BWXT, a really prominent employer in the region, is going to continue to have a lot of work over the next 10 years providing these parts for the small modular reactor, which means ongoing employment and actually additional employment, potentially hundreds more jobs here at a place like BWXT Cambridge. And uh, it's also really going to put uh, Cambridge and the KW area on the map as part of Ontario's nuclear advantage. Uh, the great thing with nuclear, it's non-carbon emitting. So when, uh, when we make the electrons that go onto the grid, that go to the house, uh, there is no carbon emissions from it. There's no GHG emissions from it. So it is one of the technologies along with wind, along with solar, that has no emissions associated with, you know, hydroelectric. Uh, so that's why it's such an important part of climate and the ability to cause climate change. And if you think about Poland right now, which was part of the announcement today with BWXT, uh, you know, Poland announced they're going to build the same technology there to replace coal plants. So you're going from something that has a high carbon emission to zero. And, and that's great for the, the climate fight that all, all of us are involved in. There's a lot of people that want to get to net zero. And there's no pathway to net zero without nuclear. I think that's the point that really needs to be driven home. Nuclear is the pathway to getting us to net zero. It's what's done it for us here in Ontario. You can have the renewables, that's all great. They're not there necessarily when you need them. Nuclear power is there. It's a reliable source of clean, emissions-free electricity that has good jobs attached to it. There's over 76,000 people working in the nuclear sector here in Ontario, from those who are building the parts here at BWXT to those who are designing the next generation at OPG, and to those who do all the regulatory work at the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. Uh, all of the expertise is right here in Ontario to not just clean up the air in Ontario, but to clean up the air around the world.